Numerical Name Romeo 7 Code Name Suited Gentleman Motto The suit is mightier than the sword. Garrison Site Site 038 Task Force Priorities CQB Combat Crowd Control Asset Retrieval Established 19 December 1860 Description Comprised mostly of former elite tactical unit operatives from urban environments, Romeo 7 predominantly operates in metropolitan regions, where operatives retrieve assets or undertake combat roles. Due to the increasing industrialization and subsequent urbanization of Europe, as well as the most significant intelligence breach of the 1850s and the loss of support from 18 nations caused from the failure of Operation it was determined that the formation of a mobile security team dedicated to operating within urban areas was necessary. Operation was an operation conducted in Nanjing, China in 1856. The operation resulted in civilian casualties and the first major security breach of the recently consolidated authority. As a direct result, mobile security team Romeo 7 was established on December 19, 1860. The usefulness of Romeo 7 was quickly established during the Gita Crisis, provoked due to the refusal of both the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies and the Kingdom of Italy to extract authority assets and personnel in Gita during the Siege of Gita. A city in Latina, Italy, was the scene of the last stand of Francis II of the Two Sicilies against the forces of United Italy in 1860-1861. Romeo 7 was successful in extracting all 80 personnel and 15 Beta-class objects of Site 248 OL within 60 hours through various methods, with either the use of forged documents and bribery or through intimidation of local forces being the most successful. Romeo 7 was initially garrisoned across various Authority sites, operating within urban areas within Europe and the United States. However, with the increased levels of urbanization in Eastern Asia during the 1960s, as well as the increasing relevance of the People's Committee for the Acquisition of Anomalous Objects within the global anomalous community, Romeo 7 was transferred to Osaka, Japan in 1972. Romeo 7 was subsequently relocated to the newly constructed Site-038 in 1984, and continues to oversee the conflicts between the PCAAO and other regional entities. As Romeo 7 predominantly operates within densely populated areas, it is not uncommon for Romeo 7 to be equipped with battle dresses of local police tactical units, or even two-piece suits. As a result, Romeo 7 has gained the nickname Suited Gentleman within the Authority. Task Force Composition Task Force Officials Anomaly Identification Director Agent Harrison Carter Task Force Commander Colonel Anthony Delick Anomaly Retrieval Director Detective Stanton Ewing Infantry Division Director Major Franklin Cheng Surveillance Division Director Dr. Andy Wong Task Force Personnel Anomaly Identification Operatives 25 Combat Operatives 220 Confidential Retrieval Operatives 149 Surveillance Division Personnel 36 Total Personnel 430 Armaments Standard Firearms Pistol Glock 17 Glock 19 Submachine Gun H&K MP5 H&K MP7 Rifle Sig Sauer Sig 516 H&K G36 SR16 Shotgun Mossberg 590 Remington 870 Sniper Remington 700 Surveillance New Corp 10mm Fish Eye Lapel Pin Camera Huei Hung SJ9000 Action Camera Assigned Objects RPC 036 RPC 242 RPC 507 RPC 725 RPC 689 Retrieved Objects RPC-085 RPC-177 RPC-194 RPC-237 RPC-323 
RPC-378 RPC-422 RPC-426 RPC-502 RPC-621 RPC-725 RPC-749 RPC-750 RPC-886 RPC-896 RPC-960 Completed Missions Mission Name Operation Sandbox Wonder Status Complete Success Date June 25, 1872 Description Authority Intelligence was notified that a highly prolific auction of the non-anomalous community would involve several anomalous objects, including RPC. Due to the potential breaches and security that this auction would pose, as well as the potential involvement of other hostile groups of interest, it was decided that Romeo 7 was to intervene. Romeo 7 was successful in neutralizing all threats and successfully retrieved all anomalous objects. Notes, Operation Sandbox Wonder was the event in which Romeo 7 earned the nickname Suited Gentleman, as operatives were restricted to donning two-piece suits during the operation. Siege of Site-038 Mission Name Not Applicable Status Partial Success Date November 13, 1998 Description On November 10, 1998, a force of approximately 240 Church of Malthus operatives were able to surpass Site-038 security systems by the utilization of a portal-based anomaly, resulting in the lockdown of Site-038 sublevel 1-4. On November 13, 1998, Romeo 7 operatives, joined by, were able to breach Site-038 by rappelling down the elevator shafts of Site-038 C and D Corps. Romeo 7 proceeded to terminate Malthus operatives and capture more, with less than 20 Malthus operatives successfully withdrawing. Three Authority research personnel were terminated during the siege. Note, Intelligence extracted from captured Malthus operatives led to Operation Housewarming Party. Operation Housewarming Party Mission Name Operation Housewarming Party Status Complete Success Date September 15, 2000 Description After the extraction of intelligence from captured Church of Malthus operatives, a full-on assault on Malthus assets within Eastern Asia was commenced on September 15, 2000, with Romeo 7 targeting the Church of Malthus hub in Singapore. Romeo 7 was successful in apprehending several high-level officials within the Church of Malthus. This, combined with the capture of other major Malthus assets within the region by other MSTs, resulted in the dismantling of all Church of Malthus operations within East Asia. Mission Name Operation Soulless Bastards Status Ongoing Date July 1, 2003 Description On July 1, 2003, acting on information provided by RPC-242 head researcher Stanham Ewing, approximately 150 instances of RPC-242-1 attempted an escape from RPC-242. Romeo-7 was successful in assisting the escape of approximately 100 RPC-242-1 instances by providing fire support. Since July 2003, Romeo-7 regularly partakes in assisting the escape of RPC-242-1 instances. Due to the nature of this operation, the file documenting RPC-242 states that, quote, Authority personnel do not intervene during the process, unquote. We'll be back.